Hi everyone, my name is Philip Mac Chongyin. Philip here. Yeah, I would like to uh, today. I have like to present the planning tips and tricks for the Eclipse treatment planning system. And I'm the radiation therapist. Come from Hong Kong. Um, first of all, I would like to thanks to the radiation knowledge group to have um, organized a good quality and very high professional competitions for the radiation therapy. And I think these competitions can improve our radiation therapies planning skills and also uh, move our planning skill to forward. And I'm very happy to join these competitions. Yes, and welcome you all to join this uh, presentations and hope you can get some useful tips and tricks that you can use your Eclipse planning system more better and you can get a better clinical results. First of all, um, give our general con contents for our presentation first, the introductions part and also we have our very brief criteria um, uh, presentations over, the, over there and contouring and the treatment planning system and also the beam arrangement and optimization process and I will give a brief conclusion after that. First of all, I would like to introduce myself and I'm a radiation therapist come from St. Teresa's Hospitals in Hong Kong and I've around seven years dosimetric experience and also I'm the public relations of the Hong Kong Radiation Therapist Associations. So uh, feel free to contact me for any other things for the Hong Kong Radiation Therapy uh, experience. I can share it for you. And okay, begin it for uh, we can show a very important part. Yes, the dosimetric criteria summary. And this you, uh, for you to join the competitions, you should be notified to criteria very clearly to set up your planning strategies. And basically, we uh, you have to have three basic rules that you should be passed that your plan to can just get into the competitions. The first one is the uh, the D19 presents of the PTV17 must be equal or greater than the 63 gray and the 90% of the PTV 63 must be equal or greater than the 56.7 grade and the 90% of the PTV 56 must be equal or greater than the 50.4 grade and this three main basic rules must be passed and the other one is shown in this diagram and if you just fulfill these three parameters and the three basic rules, you should be passed. So um, um, the important part, the important points for the criteria is not to overachieve the criteria because when you just to try to fulfill one criteria, that means sometimes you need to sacrifice the other one. So if you have a criteria that you can achieve it and that's fine. Don't no don't over achieve it. Okay. And the other one is to uh, some of them are very difficult to achieve. For example, the targets CI and also the HI. And I will have some tips for them for you to achieve this in the later slide. And also the some way else. And mainly I think many people think the Pyrotex, the D50% is very difficult to achieve. And I will give some more uh, about this one I will talk about later on. <clears throat> and also the virtual targets will be produced because um, this fair, um, because this one, we, co we are coming, going to the contouring part. So, uh, it will mainly deal with the contouring. The contouring is the virtual targets is, is a very um, important one where first we have to do to before that we can optimize the plan. Firstly, we have to crop the lower level targets to from the higher level without leaving gap. And this is very important because we have to make sure that they are 
uh, no conflict between the lower level targets with the higher level one. And the surrounding OARs will be cropped so that um, some kinds of difficult fulfill OARs, for example, the brainstem is quite near to the PTV70, the brain, and the brachial plexus is near to the 60 flea, and the eye boards is very near to 56. And this kind of OARs will be cropped for, uh, from, the t from the virtual targets for around one or two millimeters. So that's to reduce the conflict. Especially the virtual targets, we have to for, to mix it with with uh, the left priority glands. As I've mentioned, the priority glands have a very difficult and tough criteria. So we have all virtual targets we've cropped from the priority glands, and the targets overlap with the priority glands will separate will give their own objectives so that we can optimize the targets within the politics separately. We can use a different kind of objective to fulfill the, the dosage and, uh, within the politic and also the target. So our, this is difficult to strike a balance, so we try to do it. <clears throat> And we have to reach the target dose and meet the priority criteria. So this, uh, for the optimization part, I will mention it afterwards. But we have to know that the priority we have to separate that into the PTV in priority and also the green part is the PTV out priority. We have separate into two parts, and this is what the virtual targets actually work with the priority gland. And finally, all virtual targets were po post processing to smoothing for the level three. And I, cr I think this is quite important that we uh, we find it when in these competitions because this moving can reduce some kind of conflict between the some uh, the, the virtual target or the target that's very uh, un ununiform, and this is quite important. So try to use these features when you just to do your optimization. Okay, and the coming part is the virtual target ring. For my planning strategies, no NTO objects functions will, will be used. So to control the fall off of the target dose, the ring structures should be neat to do it. The ring structures will be produced as the following steps. First, this is the target. We will increase 1 mm margins. And then we give the 8 mm margins increased outside the margin. And after that, we minus the whole things with the targets and the margins, and we'll get the target rings. And the red red one is the target ring. Actually, this is how the tar uh, virtual target ring form. Secondly, outside this target ring, we also do make a virtual tissue ring with a 1.5 cm margins. And just similar with the target rings, we do this and minus the target rings and the targets and also the margins, everything. So the green part is the tissue ring. So now we get the target rings, also the tissue ring. They are all to control the fall off to make sure that the target dose can fall off rapidly outside the target. This is a very important for the uh, conformity index. Okay, but well, during the contouring part, sometimes we use this 2 mm thickness scheme to minimize the maximum dose from some targets that very near to the uh, some OARs actually very near to the targets. For example, the brainstem, the eyes, the spinal cord, and this we will use the skin, so-called skin OARs for optimization process. 
how to zoom, how to make it the skin structures is shown in the coming slides. First, the original OARs, we create a inner margin structure called skin. It's around 2 mm, so you have a smaller OARs. And then you minus the original OARs with the inner margin structures. You can get a 2 mm thickness skin structures. So why we do this? Because we believe that first, the skin structures can decrease the total volume of the optimization structures. Second, is can increase the efficiency of the optimization objectives. Because um, for the optimization process, the volumes really have a matter to control the those and to how to fulfill your objective. So make sure that you have to decrease the total volume. And actually the skin structures can do it. So um, you can try this for some OARs very near, nearby the targets. So uh, the coming slide, we have to, uh, the contour and pipe is finished and then going to some planning information here. So uh, for, for our uh, uh, competitions for our center, we are using the Eclipse 11 and for uh, our cases, we use the Rapid Arc, so we call it VMAX. And the True Beam Streaming Machines and the MLC is 1, 2, 0. So uh, you can see that for the, this 20 centimeters area, we, get, we got the 5 mm MLC and the other part is 1 cm thickness. The beam arrangement is four full arc, is from 179.9 to 180.1 degrees. It's really a four full arcs and the six MV energies. And also the dose rate is 140, is FFF. So why, we've men why I've mentioned the, uh, to emphasize about the MLC thickness, because uh, for the ISO center setting, we try to move the 5 mm leaves, layered MP regions to treat, to deal with the complicated part. And the other one, we just leave it to the 1 cm. So this is how a uh, matter to do, to, to deal with this. Okay, the collimator angles we have to show in the later diagram. For this one is four full arc for the planning is not so very um, special. That's the ice, but the collimator angles. One we use the 357, and one we use the three degrees and 15, and also the 345. Make sure that we have used different collimator angles for each arc, so that we can increase the degree of freedoms for the optimization then the treatment machine can do better for this. But we don't, we don't try to use so, so-called 30 degrees and much more degrees because this will limit the x setting. Okay, now we go, go ahead to the optimizations process now. For the optimizations, uh, because I've divided into the the optimizations into the first time and the second time, etc. We have divided into two parts. For this one, we have discussed into the first optimization process first. Okay, then as I'm showed before, there were three different kind of dose level for the target is 17, 63, and 56. And there are several points I would like to remind. First, no NTO was used. Uh, this is a function for the Eclipse to minimize the lotus regions. But for the competitions, this is not very uh, essential to do this because the nodes we don't want to um, compromise with all directions, but we just want to make it the fall off is very, uh, very rapidly that uh, the, from the nearby OARs, for example, the spinal cord, the brainstem, etc. So we use this, 
ring structure to compromise this. So I've just emphasized no NTO was used here. And then secondly, we the calculation script, we have to set it in 1.5 millimeters because it will get a ver uh, much more better results or much more closer results with the verification systems. And so that's the score you calculate with the, uh, when you compare with the verification system and you will get a much more better results. So you, you just should be set in 1.5 millimeters. And also the organs had to become a change into the high resolution one. And this can increase the accuracy of the volumes of all structures. And finally, uh, actually we will not applied the arc geometry tools for um, this cases because the arc geometry tools um, will make sure that every beam side wheel of all arc can increase all target in it and this is what the arc geometry tools do but if you use this tool then the fuel size will, will become very large, especially for the X-Draw. If the X-Draw can ex will exceed the 50 cm, 15 cm, then we'll make sure the MLC cannot travel, over travel there. Then it will decrease the planning outcome. So we don't use this for uh, this plan, uh, this competitions. And so we just put in the uh, the ISO center and the fuel size, all of them manually. Okay, and then the coming part is the optimizations of the targets. So ta of, of the targets, we have uh, applied all optimization objective for them for in four different ways. For the given targets, the virtual targets and target rings and the tissue rings. The re targets yes means the virtual targets that when uh, I've mentioned in the uh, previous contouring part. First of all the given targets is the backbone of the target coverage. Make sure that it should be given a dose but the target dose for 70 is 66.5 for 63 is 59 Point eight gray and 56 is aims for the 55, 53.2 gray. Because this is based on the criteria. The uh, the PTV 17 is the your criteria is only the 95, and PTV 63 is those 98. Don't try to over achieve this one, and this is very important. And the given targets those is the backbone for the target coverage. So try not try not to over over overdose to the target. And also for the PTV sixty three and the PTV fifty six, no upper objective should be set because this will create a big conflict with the upper dose. Okay, now we're going to the HI, the homogeneity index, because this one is a well, very uh, difficult part for us to achieve in the, um, in the competitions. But the given targets can achieve, can is mainly for to achieve this, uh, uh, mainly to achieve the HI. For example, for the PTV70, you will give you will you're given a PTV seventy minus the brachial plexus for four mm targets to measure the HI. So uh, this is and also this is for sixty three and also the fifty six. They have some uh, margin for marginal targets for you to calculate the HI. So for the HI target, put the upper and lower objectives for each one so that you can have a bet, better HI results. For example, for the upper is 103 to 105% of the target dose. You can set this upper and the lower is 101. Around this, this, um, 
this dosage, you can cover it much more better. And this will give a better HI targets. And also, because why this have a range is because um, you have to adjust it during your optimization process for for the HI especially because this one you cannot just to fix it for all of them. You have to a little bit adjust it. So now uh, we go in for the table. Now uh, here for for the given target uh, for the 70 those level we have this kind of objectives. Uh, for this line, I would like to point out that we don't use the 100% volume for the lower objective because we find that if you put a so absolute a high percentage volume objective, you will create some kinds of conflict for the optimization. And then you will give, you will see many hotspots and uh, some unusual those distributions for your targets. So don't, uh, so don't, uh, don't use a 100% of, uh, of the lower objective. And also, we don't use 0% of upper objective for the targets. Same reason. The 0% is an absolute upper objective, then you will create some conflict. We don't choose it. So uh, the same objectives, clearly we can see, you can see this for the 63 and also the 50, 56. And this is the given the big target and this one is the cropped and marginal target. And you see this, it have the upper one, upper objectives and lower objectives, but the big one, we don't use the upper objective. Okay, so we're going to, uh, Virtual targets. For the virtual targets, it is only for uh, support the different targets to make sure that those coverage is much more better, and you can give a higher conform uh, conformities. And also, it can reduce the conflict between the targets of different dose level. So, for example, we don't use the upper objectives for the lower dose level, just like the given targets. And also, we will crop a little bit from, uh, for example, the 63 to 70, the upper part of upper dose level, we will crop a little bit the targets, and also we crop the target from the nearby OARs, something like that. Just I've mentioned how you contouring the, con the virtual targets. Especially, we use the conflict in the left priorities for these cases. Uh, as I mentioned, I've put the priority in the target and the priority out of the target separately. So we can use the separate objective to compromise the conflict between the priority and the target. And also the virtual targets can increase the dose coverage for the CI criteria. So um, for this table, you can see that we can have a virtual target 66.7 here and also this virtual target priority in 66.7. So uh, the upper one, this one, is the out priority target. And this one is in the priority target. So you see the priority in target, we have a smaller volume, but we can have a similar dose level here so that we can just try to strike a balance between the uh, priority dose and also the target dose. However, in this uh, in this three tables, we can see we have a uh, uh, priority in 60, priority in 53.4 targets, and this is corresponding volume and also dosage. However, this kind, this two value of the priority in targets is not just present before the optimization. You have to adjust it during the optimization process, actually. You have to make sure that the priority, do priority dose is under your control, that you can meet with the OAR's criteria before that. So you have to adjust it during the optimization process. This is very important. So don't just key in this 
percentage of volume and then leave it behind and you won't get your perfect results. And then the ring structures that we have the virtual ring and the target ring and the tissue ring structures we are using to, is to increase this uh, conformity index for the targets as and as I mentioned this is no NTO objective so that we use these ring structures to do this conformity index to reduce and to minimize the leakage of the target dose to the surrounding structures but the ring structure is sets only upper objectives but no zero percent of upper objectives will be given to the ring also just similar to the um, targets because this also will have some a little bit conflict of the targets those you can have a uh, not so satisfied view of target those for this one so um, you don't have you you have you do not set zero percent And also, this is a conformity index. We, you have to achieve the conformity index for using the rings and also the virtual dose coverage, the virtual targets, and you give the uh, lower objective to do it, and you push the target dose and also minimize the leakage of the tar uh, target dose at the same time, so you can achieve a good result for the conformity index. And the given, you see, we can we have the 0 0.1 percent, 0 0.5 percent, but we won't use 0 percent for all the ring structures. And this rings, this V ring is for the uh, tissue ring. Actually, this 0 percent volume is uh, we are just used after all, uh, the all optimization because this results I have uh, I take from my final plan, so we. Finally, we can push it in the zero, but don't do this in the first optimizations. For the OARs, we have used the given criteria for upper objectives for the D max constraint structures and the mean objectives for the D mean constraint structures. Set upper objectives for zero percent for the D max of organs, but sometimes we have some um, zero point one cc requirement organs. For example, the brachial plexus, we use 0.1% to 0.5% for this. Don't, do, don't use the zero again because the, you will overachieve it. And then you can set the dose around one, cent, uh, one gray lower than the different criteria. So you, can, you will not try uh, to overachieve this. For all the structure you see, the D max structures, zero percent for the brachial plexus. Why we use zero? Because we this is also the we try for uh, after the several optimizations. We 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 found that we can use the zero percent structures to achieve this without compromising the target dose. Uh, I highlight the priority gland dose for you to have a reference because this is very important for to control that the virtual target dose uh, during the optimization you have to uh, pay a very big attention on this and also the cord and the post leg post leg is a 1 cc uh, criteria structure so you can see that we have used the 0 0.1 and 0 0.5 okay I'll give you a very general priority range ideas for all the, the optimizations. For the range, we use the 50 to 150. For the targets, the lower objectives is 100 and upper is 80. OARs is 50 to 80. The priority of OARs we modified according to the difficulties, but we sell them to modify the target priorities. We just, uh, I just to modify OARs priorities during the optimization process, okay? And then the additional structures for the second optimization or later on, the priority range will be from 80 to 100. So uh, the right-hand side is as a diagram that you can see the virtual targets and the target can put, will put a, in a, for a much more higher priority range and then OARs maybe will be lower and depends on the uh, 
difficulties of the OLs. And then uh, during the optimization, you have to pay some time to port the um, machine that make the curve become flat, actually. And actually, you if you just general clinical use, maybe you port for five to 10 minutes is okay for your optimization, you get a uh, satisfied result. But for this competition, we I have spent sometimes a half an hour for the optimizations for one level because um, they you will you will have a slightly um, not so obvious um, improvement during the optimization process that you have to spend time to let the computer to do it. But uh, just to remind that. Is just for the competitions, but not the clinical one. Okay, the second part is the um, when you do after the first optimization. Uh, this is a general uh, comment: is do not change the dose too much for the targets and the range structures, but uh, you can change the priorities for OARs uh, just for a small amendment and then use the additional structures for increasing the target's coverage and also remove the, removing the whole spot. You have to add some more structures on it and the priorities is around 80 to 100. And finally, you can get, uh, you can see my results for the, this clinical plan. For the conclusion, understanding the criteria very clearly and to calculate the scores after every attempt for um, by using the criteria table and submit the plan more often so that you can reduce the discrepancy between your own planning computers and also the evaluation computers. And then you can get the results and use the results to improve your outcome again and again, so that you have to try your best to achieve the highest score until the last minute. And this leads to spend some more time or you have to some more try and error to do this. Don't give up until the last minute. Okay, and this come to my, the end of my presentation and I have to want to thank my family members, my wife and a son and also my colleagues and supervisors from the hospital and really, really thanks my other uh, organizers of this competitions, uh, the Ahmed, and he gives a lot of um, support for this competition and make it very successful this year. And because uh, the, this presentation is uploaded to the YouTube channel, so you can just leave the comments and feel free to ask your questions uh, from the Eclipse systems and other things. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much, Philip, for your uh, informative presentation. By the way, Philip is the uh, com is, is the champion of our 2017 plan competition under the clinical plan category. I have to say that uh, your uh, your planning technique is very unique. I will try to implement it myself. To be honest. Uh, to see how it works. I hope Thank all you. planners will uh, will try to use uh, these steps and this thinking methodology. And in case they have any question or uh, comment, they can contact us or Philip and uh, using his email. And also the, yes. uh, they can uh, they can contact us or write their comments uh, as Philip said in the in the YouTube um, comment uh, area. Uh, so by the end of this presentation, I thank you, Philip, again for for this informative presentation, and I hope all planners enjoyed it and learned from it uh, uh, as I did, actually. Uh, thank you very much, Philip. Thank you.